a foot with a new toe because you can't stand without your big toe, I don't think. Or something like that. Mm, yeah, you need to balance. Maybe. Body <laughs> security, <Our> self confidence, <laughs> validation. Yeah. And lastly, courage. Okay. 
Three, go. <laughs> okay, well. This game's rating is a zero because as soon as I hit the button, it didn't do anything, so. Like, what? How can you play a game when it doesn't work? <laughs> how can you play a game when. The joints are Board stuck. Game when it has, it has arthritis. <laughs> it's like it's not <laughs> moving. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Hey, you just pick it up inside. I'm so hungry, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I want a house hippo. <gasps> Who remembers house hippos? Yeah. And everybody wanted one, and you wanted one, and the person beside you wanted one, and you, and you. House hippo. Everybody wanted a house hippo. And do you think they were real? No. God, so many lies. So many lies. I think that was the moment when the millennials like would, became suspicious of like media outlets and things that people told them because, yo, so it tells you at the end of the, it tells you at the end of the video, don't believe everything you see on TV. And you wanted that hippo so bad that like You're gonna believe it. Why would you even trick me about this? I just want this hippo to be real. Like, can you yeah. even trick kids about yeah. something as exciting as that? Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Santa. Oh yeah. I was gonna tell you about my dentist theory. That's what I wanted okay. to tell you about. Oh, it's a theory. Well, it's a, a metaphor. Okay. And a story. <laughs> okay. I had a cavity for the first time ever. I've never had one before. And it was a terrifying experience. I don't know why everyone doesn't just floss their teeth and brush their teeth all the time. You're like laying there, and the bright light is like shining on you. And then you're like opening your mouth and they stick a needle into your gums. I felt really kind of like helpless because like they had something to like kind of prop my mouth open and they were like sticking like yeah. objects in my mouth. I was thinking, it kind of felt similar to like when you get a pap test because you know you're like laying there and someone like cr cranks you open and they're <laughs> sticking metal <laughs> objects in you Ew. and you're just hoping they don't hit something that's gonna make you like cringe. <laughs> <laughs> okay last time I went to go get a pap test the chick so sweet trying to make it comfortable but just overstaying her welcome in my vagina, to be honest. Like, she's having full conversations about where she got her shoes and like trying to go on and on. And like the fact that you're overcompensating is making this a lot oh, yeah. more weird for me than just call it like it is. I mean, neither of us want to be here. Don't act like this is your first choice of job. <laughs> you wanted to be a brain surgeon. You got stuck looking at pee holes. <laughs> I hate anything of that sort involving yeah that stuff. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's a very uncomfortable thing. Jeez. Comment and tell us your worst pap test. Yeah. Story. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. maybe not. Well, I, I mean, do it. Maybe this needs to be out there to make us feel better. This needs to be a common topic. Like maybe there needs to be procedures to help women feel more comfortable. I don't know, play some soft music or something. <laughs> <laughs> To our video, please. S U B <laughs> S C R I B E. What does that spell? Subscribe. Subscribe. One, two, three. Cut. No. <laughs> How about we do a 12 days of Christmas, but we make up what we would want given to us in quantities of 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8. <laughs> Um, you have to press the red button. <laughs>